Nation and House Speaker Nancy Pelosi reportedly reaching an informal agreement on a short-term stopgap measure to avoid a government shutdown at the end of this month. Stimulus talks not yet moving forward. Maddie, do you think we'll see more coronavirus relief coming anytime soon? Oh, gosh, Dagan, I hope so. Let's be clear. This was small ball getting the government funding question off the table. Americans still need Congress to step in to provide relief and certainty as we wade through the next couple of weeks and months of a lot of uncertainty, not just economic, but also public health and, of course, political as well. We've got an election coming up. But the states, James, are crying hard times, they, despite the <laughs> fact they got $240 bill, um, billion dollars in the last rescue package, I think. They want a trillion dollars more, roughly. But it turns out, as the Wall Street Journal editorial page wrote, revenue's coming in above expectations, <laughs> most, most recently in places like California. Yeah, well, I, I think you're seeing states that have not managed their finances, have not managed their pension systems, using this as an excuse. Uh, you see well-run states, on the other hand, places like Georgia, who are not saying we need another bailout. Uh, what we need, the relief we need is fully reopening society again, especially schools. That is the best economic stimulus plan we have available. Opening up restaurants for indoor dining. I think people were shocked, not just uh, Nancy Pelosi's you know, rules for thee, not for me, elitism, but the fact that until recently, you couldn't go into a hair salon and get your hair done. Yeah. You still can't, you gotta do it curbside. I think that that's what you're talking about, James. Yeah, and I, I think that was a really, it was an interesting moment with the speaker because I think it, at the root of it, it revealed that she doesn't think the pandemic is the the massive civilization busting event that she and other politicians say it is. And and I think that that her actions are expressing what ought to be expressed in our policy now, which is life goes on, we need to reopen everything. Except she should have had a mask on, telling people that Donald Trump was essentially yes, killing absolutely. people, people because of take reasonable precautions. Yes, more than she was taking, but uh, but we we should be able to live our lives just as she does. Yes, coming up, we are just minutes away from the August jobs report. We break down everything you need to know.